Hi folks, thank you and welcome back to our channel. Today I'm gonna giving you a, a continuation of my first uh, video of our garden. Today I'm gonna be sharing you an idea on how I make my, uh, I call it vine post or vine tree or climbing tree for my plant. So this is my experiment two years ago. So this little plant here, it was only very little when when some uh, friend of mine gave it to me. And this is a vine. So as you see, this is a vine. So I made uh, my my own post. So I had a big pot, fill it with uh, some rocks and put the post in it. And then put, the, put rocks to hold uh, the post and then planted the plant. Uh, the, the thing is, the live post, the fresh post that I that I use is alive, so it keeps, uh, it grows roots. So that's why now the problem is the pot filled with uh, roots from the plant, not just from the plant itself, but with the tree also. So now I'm going to make a difference, a, a different uh, way. So I, I made a post without the skin. Uh, I took the bark of it or the skin and so that this way, I hope it will not grow. I'm not sure if it will grow or not, but you know, as I said, this is an experiment. So I will show you how I did it. It's, it's very quite simple, but you know, the process is a little bit uh, challenging and difficult. So I'm gonna show you uh, how to make it, how I, did, how, how I did make it. So because some things in my garden, all things in my garden is just, I just do it alone from, you know, from, uh, landscaping and planting and replanting cuttings all of that stuff i just i just do it alone and i find enjoyment and i i love it i have fun uh, as you see i i love plants so this is a beautiful beautiful plant that that my friend did, my friend gave me and they said it's it's very expensive plant if you buy it from the market but for me it doesn't matter you know uh, it's beautiful and regardless of its uh look or kind or worth or value as in terms of uh, money for me all my plants are the same they have the same value to me and i love them all so this one is a vine so i would uh, expect or i would hope that it will grow uh, like the experiment that i did two years ago and i i also made a video on on how i made it and it will be playing very very soon so that you, you'll have an idea how I made it and maybe it, it will be it will give you an idea an example you know so enjoy watching so here I'm gonna show you this is a tree a perfume a perfume plant tree in my yard that was being uh, uh, destroyed by the strong wind in the past week so this is uh, this is still alive but i am taking the skin and the or the bark so that it won't grow roots so uh, i will use this one as a vine to that a very beautiful plant that i have there from a friend of mine and i'm just showing you how i did it <laughs> so you'll you'll have an idea as you see most most of the stuff in my garden or in my flowers i just do it myself with the help of my niece my nephew and nieces as well so there, be careful with the machete if you're going to do it yourself, guys. So uh, next, I'm going to prepare the pot. I have the pot and then I ask my niece to, to gather uh, rocks for me to keep the post and then add some mixture on it. So here. So I have here the plants go. here. <laughs> La. Today I will be uh, showing you how I make my own vine, uh, vine tree for my very beautiful plant. So here we go, guys. First, nalipat kita ko dia. Yan na Yon nali yon. Tamerion. So. I have these rocks over here to keep the post. Ay, lag, ay, lag, hiwi, ah. That's to keep the post in uh, place. Ayola, 
sige lang eh, kung ano nga. That should be good enough. A little rocks yun. Tungog mga little rocks. Ang sarang mo. Akong vines. Akong pinaka beautiful na ano. So. So here I go. I have here, uh, what's inside the, the bag there is the decomposed uh, grasses of, from the yard. You know, when we do grass cut or when I sweep the ground, I always uh, put all the trash or the grasses on the, on the bag and, and store it under the mango tree and let it decompose. So we have now our organic fertilizer or our organic soil. So, uh, some some people that help me and this one is a uh, rice hull uh, my I, I stuck a rice hull a rice skin and then that's my mixture for uh, I use in in all of my plants you see some of this uh, uh -oh. some of this some of this uh, people that helps me gather those grass uh, didn't take away the plastic so I have to take them but all, all is good. <laughs> I had to, I had to over, over, over voice with this, this video because I, I speak our language here, <laughs> talking with the kids. So. <laughs> Sorry, but I just wanted to show what, what is my mixture, you know, because we don't use commercial fertilizers here. So every time I do uh, grass cut or weeding, I just put them in the bag. So now I'm going to put the, you have to be very careful in taking the plant out, uh, not, not to hurt the main, you know, root. So the, the small roots, it's okay even if you cut them, but, uh, oh, sorry for the camera also. I think uh, Elsa just ran to the camera. So I'm putting now the plant on the pot. Then I have to tie it with a straw so it will stay. So I guess I can do better. <laughs> so I took it out. I need a need to fix the post and, and add a small tree. This is a very, very beautiful plant. Really. So some some of them are rocks. And then maybe in the future if it really 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 grow nice, I can cut some some of them and then re repot and then you know give it to the give it to some of my friends that uh, likes it or want it. I didn't prepare. I, I have to add the rice, I mean coconut husk later. So that the root can really climb to the to the tree. Didn't uh did they did not send us an email to update or something? No. It's almost like their system is down. Mm. Like I say, the app won't even load. 
Yeah. This happens once in a while. So more little rocks to keep the post. Then I have to put my mixture. Very, very healthy soil, guys. See, it's it's black. And the, 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 the decomposed grasses is really, really, really best for my pots. Later, I will show you my my first experiment on this but it's it's on a, a different kind it's for the different different kind of plants this one is also different i have to take care of this because this come from uh mindanao <laughs> A friend of mine from Mindanao. So now I have to look for for a place for this one. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and it is done. Look at this. Look at that. Look, 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 look. Uh huh. And now I will show you. Look at this. This is my two year old experiment. Look. I also do the same. I have a post stick to the ground. So when I planted this one, it was only very small. Very, very small, and look at them now. See? Very nice. This one needs to be trimmed and cut so that it can be transplanted also. And here's the other one. Look. <laughs> See what happens when uh, when you don't uh, take away the bark or the skin of the post. See? It grows. It grows here a lot, but uh, I keep trimming it. So... Hopefully one day that plant that I do today will also become like this. Very healthy. <laughs> Thank you guys. I hope you learned something today from me. Bye. One of the comment yesterday or in one video or yeah, the, the garden video yesterday commented, uh, how about your orchids? So my orchids, <laughs> I am just putting it on the tree itself. So this is a tree, uh, a plant. Uh, so this is this is this is the plant or the post that I used on uh, the lie the vine tree that I made. So the name of this plant is a perfume plant, and uh, I know fortune plant, fortune plant. This this leaves it has a wide leaves, and they use it here uh, at least here in a bouquet arrangement or a flower arrangement especially on bouquet or whatever arrangement I, I saw this one so they buy actually these leaves here and uh, the the reason I use this one is that it fell from the even time to to clean their yard yet so this is my some of my orchids I will show you more in a while in that they live so fine in the in this tree, in this live tree, in that one as well. Look, mm. and I will. So this is uh, my original area of uh, orchids. So as you see, I am only using a regular post like that, and I tie the orchid there. This one is broken; needs to be fixed, and lots of them. And they they never stop bearing uh, flowers actually. Like for example, this one. Look at that! Look how beautiful is that, guys? Can you see it? This one stays longer as well. So, look. Hi, Angel. Look. Hold on, Angel, because Auntie is uh, taking video. Hi. Then, guys, there's a little girl here. 
Hi, Auntie. <laughs> Hold on, stay there. Stay there. Auntie is taking video. You cannot come here. So look at this, guys. Look. So they they are my orchids that doesn't really stop blooming or giving flowers. Look at this very beautiful one. See. So this. So I'm using my other stick, uh, camera stick. This is not really stable. So we call it, uh, this one is Daisy. This is very common here. Look. Wait lang. Look. So, oh my God, my hand is shaking as well. So here, this one also is another, they, I don't really also know the name of the orchids, but this is uh, just a native, a wild one. But really, a very beautiful look. Look at that. And here, <laughs> at least I, I know some. So according to my cousin, the name of this orchid is a uh, tiger. So look, can you see that? That's a tiger orchid. A tiger orchid. And I have lots of them. And also, uh, it didn't bloom. Uh, it only bloomed after, four after two. This one really blooms really, really nice. We call it tiger. So according to them, it's a tiger. Hopefully it's not a real tiger. <laughs> Otherwise it will be attacking me right now. Look at this one. My very, very, very beautiful. My very, very uh, favorite. So that's all my orchids. The rest of the flowers in my garden, I will gonna show it to you guys after I clean, after we weed everything. So for now, bye. Thank you for watching. God bless you all of you. Bye bye. I have a bonus uh, prize, guys. Look to this very, very giant flower. Look at that. Look at that. Look. Look. See? And again, <laughs> I have a lot of job to do. Uh, knowing the name of the flowers of my you know plants so that's the plant see and that's the flower that's the stem of the flower it, it's really 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 huge look <laughs> oh my god it's lovely